It wasn't supposed to end like this. When BHP Billiton offered $40 billion for potash three months ago, there was talk of rival bidders and white knights. Today, BHP is walking away empty-handed. Here to discuss the future of potash. Will anybody buy this company? We welcome Sachin Shah. He's a merger arbitrage strategist with Capstone Global Markets. So, Sachin. Good morning, uh, Eric. Good morning to Happy you. Happy Monday. Some, some two <laughs> weeks ago, uh, while this was still an active deal, yes. but potash put out a filing saying it had held talks with some 15 other prospective bidders. We don't know the name of a single one. Nothing's on the table. Is potash going to get bought or is it going to remain independent? Well, I mean, um, so yes, I believe it eventually will be bought, okay? Excluding the Canadian authorities essentially saying it's not for sale for anybody, okay? So, uh, which what's, they have not said. Which they have not said, correct. And we'll find out hopefully in the next 24, 48 hours what their reasoning or rationale was that was a not a net benefit for P BHP. For so, Canada. For Canada, right. correct. Yes, the Investment Canada, uh, you know, review. So the premise here is um, everybody is kind of focusing on the rejection of the approval. You have to kind of take a step back here and realize what was BHP really doing. If you read that statement, it's pretty evident that you know this this deal may have been ill-conceived on their parts from the get-go. Aside from the fact that they paid almost 350 million dollars through the process over the three months, they essentially said they're not willing to potentially take uh, additional undertakings to consummate a deal, it's not best interest for their strategy or their shareholders. They uh, put a $130 offer on the table, almost creating a ceiling for potash relative to a floor, okay? And so they, they, they came out and essentially said, it's worth $130. People at the time were kind of confused what the valuation for potash was. And, and the premise that um, uh, BHP all along, uh, they didn't want to hold a shareholder vote. Um, they, as soon as the Investment Canada came out, they didn't want to spend time um, understanding the rationale for it. Look at uh, what Potash is trading at this morning. It's yeah. down some five bucks a share. Yes. Did anybody really believe that BHP was going to re-up its offer with some kind of sweetener for the federal government of Canada? It just, that's not, at least, that, that's no, no, not what the headline suggested the last no, no, 10 days so, or so. So, so it's, it's kind of mutually exclusive, um, Eric. So. Uh, the fact that you have BHP and you mentioned the 15 other shooters, we'll find out who the other shooters were, if it's Paz Agro, if it's the Indians, if it's the Chinese, if it's in, uh, uh, in, uh, you know, pension funds or uh, hedge funds within Canada, uh, locals within Canada, we'll find that out. The premise here is we have, we, uh, Doyle, CEO of Potash, has to extract shareholder value even without BHP. So some people believe that the intentions, that's my point here, the intentions, and you know, as, as I say in, in yoga, Sat yeah. What's, it, what's the truth? We're finding out the truth right now. The truth of where BHP stood, and they didn't want to complete this deal. They wanted to. They were almost a predator um, on this prey, and they got commodity prices. Commodity prices risen significantly. That worked in the benefit of potash, and the peers have risen. BHP itself has risen between 30 to 35 percent since the uh, end of August. So the, the premise here is potash value is significant, even though there is some selling this morning, and there's probably going to be selling for the next few days. But at the end of the day, uh, potash CEO Doyle is going to extract value, and the, the shares are worth a lot more. Sachin, good of you to come in and tell okay, us thanks. that you believe. Potash is going to get bought. That's Sachin Shah. He's an M&A arbitrage analyst at Capstone Global Markets.